Hello guys. Yeah, welcome to Custom Venture. I want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you for all the returning subscribers. And if today is your first time of coming across my video, I want to say you are highly welcome. Okay, I want us to grab this corset, this trending corset. I want us to grab it together. Okay. Here I've done my basic line we need in bodies. Okay. Okay. This is a this is a bust bust point or bust line as you want it. The under bust and the the waist. Okay. We're not going to measure the shoulder. Though we might not need it, but we need it for guidance. The shoulder is 14. 14 divided by 2. I have 7. I have 7. Okay. Let me make sure that we see it very well. Okay. I think this is better. We have 7. Okay. And then from that 7, I'll be coming down by 1 for the shoulder slope. Okay. And then... The ammo line is seven. Seven. So I mark my seven here and then I link it together. Link the line together. Okay, this line now, the end of this uh, ammo line is our upper chest line. That is of purchase line okay and then the next thing you know this is where our our neck line will be and see three by four okay connect it together okay so are they connecting this together you know the, the shoulder is sloping it's not straight so that is it okay we can move it like this okay so the next thing i'm going to do is you know the corset someone their own lower someone their own exposing their boots but this one that we just need about six six inch depth or make it six and a half depth okay so i will draw the line for the six and a half depth and i will mark it as my neckline that's where i want the the corset to end okay so i mark it as my neckline so what is the next thing i'm going to do let me get my ammo cup out okay if you like, you can just measure from this angle in absence of a in absence of a cuff ruler. So to draw your cuff. Okay, before I do that, let me get the measurement for the bust out. Okay, the measurement for the bust is 37. 37 divided by by 4. I'll be having a 9 inches the nine inches 0.25 9.25 okay so the same thing with the upper chest there we have the same thing okay so i can make my cuff now okay that's that so what is the next thing i'm going to take i will be taking my Bust fan that is from nipple to nipple. I have seven, so seven divided by two. I have 3.5. So I started from my neckline here 3.5. I take it down to the waist. So the next thing I connect them together. That is my dark line. 
okay my seen line so what is the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to mark the distance between the bust points and the on the bust i'm going to use that one to take the circumference of the bust okay and what do i have here i have 3.5 so 3.5 i'm going to use it to mark it round 3.5 3.5 3.5 to get the circumference of the please if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to give thumbs up okay click on that subscribe button and subscribe to the channel okay thank you very much for doing that also tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe to this channel please okay if you find anything helpful there and you are free to request a kind of other videos you want let's say uh, let's put it together to do it so you can just join your dots line together. I want to be sure of where my 3.5 is. Can you see? That's why you have to keep to be sure of yourself. It's this way, not this one. Okay, so I haven't got this now. What is the next thing I'm going to do? I'm going to cut my darts. Okay, my darts will come from the on the bus. On the bus, sorry, on the bus. So I measure one point one inches to this side, one inches to this side. It's not the standard one. If you want, you can make it one and a half. If you want, you make it two and a half. It depends on what you want. But I'm taking one inch here one inch here down to the waist too one inch here one inch here so i connect them together so i'm going to connect to the to the bus from the bus line to this place i know because our bus is not it's not straight so in absence of cough fly, just use your hand to do it. Okay. So joy, joy. I'm going to do the same thing with the upper, the neckline too. One inches to this place, one inches to this place, and it's coming to the bust line too. So what do we do? Just cough it too. If you have your cough line, you can make use of your cough line. Okay. Good to go. Haven't gotten that one. Our oh, boss is not pointed, it's not straight, so it's a bit cough. Okay. That's to make it very well. Okay. okay, so what is the next thing we are going to do now? I'm going to come up by, you know, this is the bust line now. Of course, I don't expect my curve to be exactly there. So I want it to come up a bit so that there will be little coverage. So I decide to come up with uh, maybe one, one and a half or one. It depends on how you want it to be covered. If it's well covered, let's go for one and a half. But if you want it to stay exposed, you can use one inch so let's come with one one and a half so this one and a half we start serve as our boss point the center point where the is going to be joining okay so this is it and so what is the next thing we are going to do you know the distance between the two cups of the corset it depends on how you want it do you want it to be two inches different wide one and a half 
inches wide. I think I won't do mine two inches, two inches wide, so that it's not too pointed. So from this one I'm using as my center point, I will measure. Let me measure one inch. You know, we're still going to tape it. One. Okay, let me make it. 0 0.5 0 0.5 okay this is the center point now 0 0.5 so from here now this is where i'm going to use to link my cup to cup, get my cup out okay so so the next thing i'm going to do is this from here now from under this place i'm going to cup bring it to the center point here and then i'm going to connect this one also to it okay so let's go so then i connect from here now from on the bus here to where this center point is And then to the neckline. Okay, so here now, you know, our boss is larger, sort of at the back. He moves to the back, sort of. So we're going to give create a room for it. We are going to place an extra allowance. So from this, our 3.5 dotted line we made, we can just shift by. I will decide to shift by one just to give it a nice room. So this one and I will join it to the upper chest line. So this one now, that's where I'm going to connect it. Yes, because we have shifted this, we will not follow this that dotted line again. And then connect it to the hook neckline okay so that is that then we are now going to input our body measurements now okay the first line is a uh, Let's start from the upper chest line. It's the same thing as the bust line. So I have 9.25 as I said. 9.25. Then the input here, the dark space here, is about half an inch. So I'm going to include half an inch there now. half an inch so that would be for the same thing here so for the underboss the underboss measurement is uh, 7.75 7 7.75 then we have that here two inches that we we'll add the two inches to it. Then the waist is uh, eight, eight inches plus two, making it ten. So that I'm not going to, I'm not going to connect them together. Then what is the next one we are going to do? We're not going to cut it out. Okay. So let's see the way we go about the cutting. I 
I've not added any sewing allowance there. We'll be doing that after we are, when we are putting our fabric. Cut it now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to assume I'm sewing it. Okay, I will pierce this into two. Okay, you know that is it. The that. So I will put the part it now to put it as if I'm sewing it. You know, so this whole line has to put together. So let me put the part it. Okay, I won't trace it up now. Okay, but well, the paper is coming out as a cuff. But by the time you cut into the fabric, it will be very well shaped. If you look at that middle one where I'm pointing at, the point, the center point there is still yes to be removed. Okay, you're supposed to cut that one so that we level with the other side. Okay, if you see the the chop side now. You see that it's a uh, it's correct uh, there. Okay, thanks for watching. Give this video thumbs up. Request for the every other video you want. Subscribe to this channel. God bless you. Bye.